Hello? Hello, this is Sarah Hughes. Yes, Judge Hughes, this is Abe Fortas. How are you? I'm just fine. Well, uh, we're, uh, I'm, uh, doing a little work, uh, for the president because of these stories about the Bible. <laughs> okay. Now, I've, uh, uh, explained to, uh, everybody around here that it doesn't matter as a matter of law, uh, just, uh, what uh, kind of book is used that you can that you can administer the oath without using any Bible or any book at all, or you can do it on a copy of Dickens, um, so that that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I told the president he could take his oath on a copy of Playboy. <laughs> well, let's hope he won't. <laughs> but now uh, I've uh, gone through the files uh, up here uh, to try to get this thing straightened out uh, and uh, let me and also uh, gotten together whatever information there is in the immediate staff let me uh, tell you very briefly what uh, where we are at the moment trying to untangle this thing uh, number one Larry O'Brien has a recollection, he was on the plane, you remember, and he has a recollection that uh, you came on the plane with a Bible and that he handed you uh, a something that he thought was a Bible that a steward had handed him and uh, uh, which had been in the president's uh, quarters and that he asked you to use that book instead of the book you brought on. Well, first, I did not bring on a Bible. Oh, you did not? No, I did not have one. Mm-hmm. I see. Um, now, I don't know who handed me uh, the Bible. Yes. Um, it was a man. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, when it was handed to me, he said, uh, uh, this is a Catholic Bible. Mm-hmm. observing to begin with. Mm -hmm. I uh, uh, described that Bible as being a, a, about uh, eight by six inches yes. uh, and not knowing uh, what the color of it was. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say an undersized you're familiar with the Episcopal Church, yes. uh, uh, a little larger than a, a hymnal or a prayer book in the Episcopal Church. Yeah. Well, now, uh, then, uh, did you uh, give it to somebody on the plane? I gave it back to somebody. Uh, I gave it to somebody as I was leaving. Yeah. And that person said, that, don't you want to keep it? Mm -hmm. And I said, no, it doesn't belong to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Belongs on the plane. I see. Now, that, uh, I didn't look at the, look at the uh, book, and, uh, and, and, and the vice president didn't look at it either. Mm -hmm. uh, I just had it in my hand. You know, we weren't thinking either one of us no. all this was going to happen. <laughs> no. Uh, do you remember whether the person who handed it to you uh, had on a white jacket, whether he was a steward or whether they wore glasses? Or? No, I couldn't describe them at all. All I know is it was a man. Uh, and the person to whom uh, you handed it? I don't even remember whether it was a man or a woman. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. Now, actually, uh, just for your information, I don't think you ought to say anything about this. Uh, there is no great mystery about this, because uh, the uh, book that you used was uh, turned over to the uh, official uh, in charge of presidential papers, and it's here and has been here, you see. So it wasn't stolen, it didn't disappear, and whoever you gave uh, the book to sort of got where it should have gotten. Uh -huh. which is in the official ar uh, archives, you see. Well, does it look anything like what I said about yes, it? Yes, it's about, it uh, has a black leather cover on it, and there's a sign of a cross on it, and it's about, uh, you described it in your in a letter that you wrote as 
about six by eight inches. Actually, it's about six by three or four. And it is not a, uh, strictly speaking, a Bible. It's a, uh, a prayer book, a missile. But I think you ought to, uh, 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 I, I want to tell you this because I, I think it would be wrong for you to have uh, any lingering problem as to whether this is a Kennedy family Bible or, and uh, as to uh, whether it did disappear. Actually, the book had never been opened, obviously never been opened, never been used, you see. Mm -hmm. There's not a mark in it. Uh, there's no name written in it or anything of the sort. Uh, so, and uh, it appears pretty clearly that it was just a presentation copy uh, that somebody gave President Kennedy. Was it uh, used in the Catholic Church? Yeah, it's a Catholic Missal or a prayer book, that's all it is. And uh, uh, anybody looking at it would uh, think that it was a Bible looking at it from the outside because it's got a cross embossed on it, uh, on the front of it, you know. And, uh, but there's no, uh, it's perfectly clear that it was uh, never used or open. There's not a single mark on it and the only uh, thumbing that it's had has been by me since all this arose, you see. Yes. So I, I just wanted you to know that. Now, if you're asked anything about this, may I suggest to you, uh, uh, quite unnecessarily, I'm sure, but I hope you won't think uh, impertinently, that all you say is that, uh, <coughs> that um, when you came on the plane, Somebody handed you uh, something that you understood to uh, be a uh, Bible and that that was used. And then when you, and neither you nor the president looked into it, look, not then vice president looked into well, it. I've, I've stated that uh, any number of I know you have. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I haven't said what I understood. I've just said that uh, when I got on the plane, somebody handed me uh, a, a Bible and said, I don't have to say it was understood, uh, said uh, uh, this is a Catholic Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only thing that I see that I've said incorrectly was the size of it. Well, that isn't uh, very incorrect anyway. No. Because it's, uh, it's a small uh, book, but uh -huh. of course uh, I've seen Bibles, you have two that are much smaller than this. And it's about, uh, it's a good... Uh, Inch or inch and a quarter thick. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, might very well. Said that neither one of us looked at it. Mm, that's right. Well, that's important to repeat if if you're asked again. Mm -hmm. well, because you see this. Called me from uh, from the Dallas News, and he had been contacted by Newsweek. I see. And what did he ask you? Well, he asked me all these questions, uh, and and I uh, the only thing I've given. Incorrectly was uh, um, uh, oh what I usually say, and I said it this time too. I said I presume that it belonged to President Kennedy. Yeah. Because uh, he uh, usually uh, quoted uh, from the Bible in his speeches, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I presume that he had used this for his uh, some of his speeches. Yeah. That was a presumption of mine. Yeah, well, that, uh, actually, that is incorrect because it is not a Bible, and it, this obviously was never used, you know. Yes. It, uh, the copy. I'd better change that presumption. No, no, no. I think you'd better let it ride because now all the newspaper men in the country are going to be crawling over everybody. Actually, you see, this is, uh, you've seen many of them, so have I. It's the uh, authorized missal or prayer book, which has prayers in it, of the Catholic Church. It has prayers uh, in it, and uh, yeah, this is, a, it's uh, got, it's slip, it's got a nice uh, tool leather slip cover with a cross uh, on the, on the front of it. And it obviously has never uh, been used at all. Yeah, well, I don't have to say that because I. No, no, don't say it because you you you, you don't know and you wouldn't. I'm just telling you for your own uh, yes. 
information uh, 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 about it. It's not something that President Kennedy ever used. Uh, well, I wish that uh, some way could be found to discourage people from continually uh, interviewing me. I had. Uh, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it awful? When I was at the American Bar Convention, two reporters interviewed me, and the one thing they wanted to talk about was the swearing in. Is that so? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it was a historic event, and it was. But uh, I think we ought to be talking about it. Well, I agree with you, but uh, they've got this this Manchester fellow named Manchester is getting out this book and looks going to serialize it, and they're going yeah. to. And uh, yeah, that's why we want to be quite meticulous about the whole business. Well, I, I thank you very much, Justice for calling me. I want you to know that I appreciate it and I uh, do think a lot of you. Well, aren't you nice, Judge Hughes? I sure want to see you and I hope uh, we'll, uh, I'll have that pleasure very soon. I had a law clerk this past uh, year who was a very great admirer of yours, a graduate of uh, Columbia, and he's going to be with the antitrust division of the Department of Justice. Oh. Uh, I'm sure that you will see him sometime. Well, you ask him to call on me, I'll be just delighted to see him. All right, fine. <laughs> you come to see us. Thank you, Judge Hughes. Thank you so much. Bye now. Goodbye.